If you've ever been to a birthday party for an eight-year-old, then you know what chaos is. But imagine for a moment what it would be like if there wasn't a plan. No party games, no singing happy birthday, no cake and ice cream, and most importantly, no set time for parents to pick up the kids. You'd never host a party without a plan, and the same is true for negotiation. Preparation is extremely important, and I can't emphasize that enough. However, I'm not a fan of rigid plans. You have to be able to change course because you really have no idea what to expect, and you may need to quickly adapt to whatever the situation requires. That said, you need to prepare. Don't try to wing it. If you do, you stand a chance of being outmaneuvered, or even worse, miss valuable opportunities. Think of your planning as you would any journey. You need to know what it will be like when you arrive, so you know what to pack, how you're going to get there, and what you'll do when you arrive. You always want to plan for the worst and hope for the best. You'd never think of taking a long car trip without a spare tire. However, you'll want to keep your plans loose enough so that you have the option of taking a side trip if it seems like a good idea.